what's up redheads man i'm so excited yes it is true it is true the one and only original hot boy bgb jizzle is free he is a free man a free man i'm so excited man i'm a big cash money fan love everything that they contributed to the culture and everything like that and it's been a long time coming bg is released from jail he's been in jail since i think like 2012 i want to say don't quote me on it but we have actual footage in case uh someone has not seen it um let me go to it real quick this is birdman actually greeting bg look at it Yes. So yeah, man, that that's Birdman, Cash Money boss, Cash Money general greed and bg on his live as he's released now the rumors were out boosie had, had said that he was coming home um last week i want to say and said that they were working on getting on getting his house together but we didn't know if it was official or not we didn't know if it was official because i think last year there was rumors floating around that bg was out and it, it was a fake bg that was out or something like that that wasn't the real bg but now it is official now the question everybody wants to know is will there be a hot boy reunion will there be a hot boy reunion um if you ask me i don't think that there'll be a hot boy tour however they will have some performances together i don't even want a hot boy album a song would be cool but i think that um honestly i don't think lil wayne i mean he makes enough money already if lil wayne was to go on tour with the hot boys that would be helping the hot boys out because Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne. He's still like, he was the number one rapper at one point, but Lil Wayne makes more money by himself than he would be with the hot boys, honestly. And to split it, you know, the only way that it'll work is if Lil Wayne sets his price and the hot boys take their prices for however much it is. Because if Juvie, BG and Turk went on tour together, they wouldn't be able to do no arenas or nothing like that. And I, I would love to go to a show like that, but it'll be in a small, way smaller venue than where Lil Wayne performs at. Now, Juvenile does festivals and stuff like that, but by himself, I think he does smaller ones, but Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't need the hot boys. If he got together and went on tour with them, it would be strictly based off of the love for the culture, which I don't know. When I asked DJ PM about it, he said, why would he do it? He don't see Lil Wayne doing that. At this point, I don't see it either. So I'm not trying to uh, shit on everybody's hopes. But I do think and I feel that we're going to see some performances with them together, like at Louisiana Fest uh little louisiana fest isn't that what it is they might do some shows they might come out with wayne they're gonna do some performances uh but i think that that's the most of what they'll do as far as that goes um i don't expect any music from them it'll be cool probably just to hear it but i honestly i i'm interested in them telling their story i want a documentary of the hot boys and just them to be together all we need is a picture them to do a couple of shows together and that's it that's it. But I don't think if you ask me that they're going to do a full fledged tour now on paper, it'll be dope as hell to see a hot boys reunion tour. Or if we see a cash money millionaires tour, that'll be dope as hell. And I'll be first in attendance to be there. But honestly, Lil Wayne can make more money by himself going on a straight Lil Wayne tour. Wasn't he just on tour like last year? I, I want to say the, the Carter three tour or the Carter tour, something like that. But that's, that's the most that I see. I think that there'll be some pop-ups, uh, different performances and stuff like that. But BG, what's next for him? I think BG will probably get back to releasing some music because he was a, a hardcore hustler when it came to the music. He would release a lot of um, independent releases and, and things like that. I hope he's able to adjust to what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? The game is way different from when it used to be back then. It's a whole different ball game nowadays. The industry is is phony. It ain't 
real like how it was when he went in, quote unquote. So, but I, I see him doing a lot of podcasts. Uh, him and like I said, him and him and Juvie can do shows together. He can uh, do shows by himself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he needs to stay away from those club venues. I don't want BG getting in trouble. I want BG to stay out of jail. But I could see him going on Be High, going on Vlad, going on there. He could. It, and Birdman is going to take care of him, obviously. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully Birdman has a record deal for him, some stuff in store, and I want to see BG back in a good position. But the Hot Boys, we're all excited to see them together. I'm not going to get my hopes up for, for a tour. I just don't see Lil Wayne, you know, doing that unless it really made sense for him. The only thing I see is um, it, it being great for the culture and being good for Juvie, BG, and Turk. Because Turk don't do no shows by himself. I don't even think Turk do shows. But Turk is very adamant about them coming together, doing some stuff. So that's the most that I see. But I think that BG could get in the podcast bag. There's money to be made out here. He just needs to stay away from the stuff that got him locked up again. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, let me know in the comments what you think, man, about what's next for BG, what's next for the Hot Boys. I gave my spill on it. Make sure that you follow me on all social media platforms at J-A-Y-R-3-D. Subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash resview. And make sure, do me a favor, hit the like button or the dislike button so we can get the algorithm up. That helps the algorithm when you do that. But anyway, let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Resview.